Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Johnny Vlogs. I hope you guys are having a great week and I want to start this episode first of all by thanking a new Patreon supporter, Nicole. Nicole, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And in today's episode we're going to talk about radio appearances. Now, um, I know I've mentioned it in a couple of previous videos, but finally I have some information on where you can hear them. So starting off with the holistic doctor debate, um, this was an interview I did. It was the first time I've done a three hour interview. Um, it was pretty intense in terms of the amount of time. And basically when I looked into the holistic doctor kind of conspiracy theory, um, I back traced it to being from a woman named Erin Elizabeth at a website um, blog called healthnutnews.com. And I was contacted by a radio show that wanted to interview me about that. And they asked, you know, hey, is there any guests that you can suggest, you know, to, to bring on the show? And I actually recommended that they contact Aaron. And I talked to the host about it. And at first we were not sure about, oh, well, you know, we don't want it to be some kind of argument or get real ugly or anything like that. And we just kind of came up with the idea, hey, we'll treat this as a debate. You know, I assured her that I could be very respectful and just present my side. And I'm, I was sure that Aaron could do the same. So they got in touch with Aaron. It took some scheduling and eventually we made it happen. And quite honestly, I was I was a bit surprised um, at how well it went. I, I did think that there might be a couple of sticky points that we might kind of butt heads on a little bit. Um, and there was a few points that we certainly didn't agree on necessarily, but overall there was a lot of things that we actually did agree on. So it was great because it kind of gave us a foundation, a bit of, of common understanding between the two of us so that when we did get to those points that we didn't necessarily agree on, um, they weren't quite as heated as I think you would see a lot in, in conversations like this, uh, particularly on the internet. So I'm really happy with how it came out, how it, how it all came out. And I was given a link. Um, so now you guys can check it out for yourself. You don't have to subscribe for anything. There is a link in the description box below. Just make sure you got some free time. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to say about it was the first two hours are pretty much me and Aaron um, talking directly to each other um, and with the host doing an excellent job. This show is called uh, Midnight in the Desert. If you know of Art Bell, it is his former show. Um, he still kind of works behind the scenes on it a little bit, but he doesn't uh, go on air with it anymore. His former producer has now taken it over and Heather just did a wonderful, wonderful job as a host. Um, just, it was great because she helped kind of keep the conversation moving, brought up a lot of relevant points. But the third hour was call-ins from listeners. So, um, and it was pretty interesting to see despite the topic and the way that we had kind of approached it to see what the listeners wanted to talk about. Um, you know, there was a couple calls that were definitely driven more about the conspiracy theory, about specific things that the doctors were said to be researching, which I was trying to not make part of the conversation. Um, I mean, we touched on it a little bit at the start of the conversation, but I don't think that those things are key to the overall theory, and actually Aaron agrees with that but still people wanted to talk about those things. Um, but in large part, they wanted to talk about healthcare and just about some of their trials and tribulations with it and um, you know, stories of them struggling with finding decent healthcare. And it, it definitely touched me because there's been certain instances where you know, I've had weird things happen and I'm like, really, this is what we, you know, these are the people we're trusting for this? Um, you know, we got to talk a little bit about pharmaceutical companies and how they uh, are sponsored all over doctors' offices and stuff like that. So overall, I'm really happy I did the show. Um, and it really goes through a pretty wide range of topics. So if you want to check it out, link is in the description box below. Now, for all my German brain scratchers out there, hello everyone. Um, by the way, it's it's so cool to me when I'm going through comments and people mention, oh, by the way, I'm I'm watching you from Germany, I'm watching you from Australia, you know, I'm a fan of yours from the UK. I really love hearing where you guys are from, so thank you so much for doing that. Um, the German radio show that I'm going to be on, I finally have the details. So. 
Um, the website I will put in the description box below also. It's going to be on Deutschland Radio and uh, they're telling me that it will be live on air there June. They actually wrote Juni, J-U-N-I, but I did a quick little search on that and it turns out that that is June. <laughs> June 18th at 1 p.m. German time. So if you are in Germany and you're familiar with Deutschland Radio, please check out on June 18th at 1 p.m. the segment on Brain Scratch and a little bit about Elisa Lamb, but a lot about Brain Scratch. Um, there's also some information in there about America and just um, kind of my views on it. You know, I'm a first generation American. Um, my father is from Ireland. My mom's actually from Germany. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's pretty interesting. I think I give some insight into uh, being a first generation American that you probably won't hear too often. So uh, I, I hope that you guys will enjoy that. And they're telling me it will also be available for download on the website after that. So if you're not in Germany, but you still want to check it out, um, use the link below, but be sure to check it after June 18th at 1 p.m. And you should be able to also give that a listen. So um, I think that's about it for radio shows right now. There's one podcast that reached out to me and um, I kind of like them. I, I listened to a couple of their, their episodes, so I will probably contact them in a little bit um, to do an interview. They want to talk about Elisa Lamb, so I'll probably line that up. But outside of all that, I just really have to get myself going on um, buying some equipment. I've already got a co-host for my podcast. Um, we're playing around with names and format a little bit. I, honestly, I think we're pretty good on the format already. Um, I've also had a couple of Brain Scratch researchers that have sent in certain stories that I don't think would necessarily work for a full-blown Brain Scratch episode, but I do think they might work for the podcast. So I've been banking some of those stories. We're going to bring those up um, on the podcast and get that thing rolling pretty soon. I'm hoping... Man, I would love to get it going by uh, the start of July. So I'm going to put that out there. Hopefully me putting it into the universe and you guys hearing it will help me um, nail that goal. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, there's a bit of a learning curve I got to do. I still don't know what platform to do it on. So I'm going to ask you guys, there's plenty of you out there listening now. So if you have any experience with listening to podcasts or producing your own, what um, web service are you using the most or which one do you like the most that's what I'm curious to hear from you guys because I'm looking to find a good platform for putting these on um, I will likely also do like a YouTube version of them but I know many of you are listening to uh, I know you're even watching my YouTube stuff apparently or listening to it you better not be watching while you're driving uh, but I'm hearing from plenty of you that you do listen to brain scratch while you're in the car so if there's other podcasts you listen to or other services, please let me know what those are because I want to find the one that has the best features and uh, is easy to get to. So uh, outside of all that, everything's been going great. Just getting used to life in a new state, which I'm really enjoying. It's really nice being close to um, some friends that we had that were living in California a long time ago. They moved out here. We would see them on vacations, but just wasn't quite enough. But now that we're out here, we're seeing them a lot more often, and it's very, very cool. It's really, um, it's tuned up my quality of life quite a bit, and I'm really happy about it. So, other than that, I'm just loving, I'm loving Minnesota. Um, the weather out here is definitely different. There's this thing in California that um, you kind of get the same weather pattern for almost months on end. And out here, it's very different. You can have a morning where it's just pouring rain, and by afternoon, the sky is completely clear and it's beautiful. Um, we're starting to get thunder showers or thunder and uh, lightning uh, a little bit, which is the first time I've really experienced that in this way. Um, I was just telling my wife that last night there was a thunderstorm out here, and I woke up at one point and was looking at the window, and it looked almost like a strobe light was popping through the window. And I told her it almost looked fake. Like I just. <laughs> I had never, I mean, of course, we get a little bit of thunder in California, but, um, and maybe a lightning flash here or there, but nothing like what I'm seeing out here. It's, it's definitely different, and uh, it's kind of cool in its own way. I'm really enjoying it, so we'll see if I keep enjoying it through these horrible winters that everyone keeps telling me about, but uh, I don't know. I've also heard some people say that they like that time of year, so I'll be curious to see what type of person I am. 
I hope you guys are, I think I already said you're having a great week, but in case I didn't, I'm going to tell you this time. Have a great week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on Johnny Vlogs. I'll catch you on the next show on the Geek and Dorks channel. Take care.